Hey, what's going on? What's going on, YouTube? How you doing? What's going on, YouTube family, Grillable family? How you doing? What's going on? So I'm going live in two different places. I got my YouTube over here, and we got our Facebook page over here. So just really quick, want to say thank you, testing it out. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll get going in a couple of minutes. We're just going to give a chance for everybody to get in to the space. It's time to get a good workout in. Going to get this thing going and get it going right. So, give it a couple minutes. We'll let everybody join in. And by the way, if you do have any questions, if you do have any questions about the Gorilla Bowl, the system, Feel free to go. Either I will answer them. Again, my name is Marin Ellis. I can answer them for you or have the gentleman at Gorilla Bow answer them for you. But either way, we're here for you to make sure that you can stay in shape even while we're staying at home um, to make sure we stay safe, keep our friends and family safe. And if you want to do me a quick favor, go ahead and put in the comments where you're from um, so we just have an idea of where you're from and that we can make sure everything is good. Um, but again, this is all about getting in a good workout. So we're going to start in about one minute and get this going. Make sure you share this with some friends, family. And this workout isn't just if you have a gorilla bow. So everything we do, I will show you the option of how to do it with the Gorilla Bow and also how to do it with just body weight. So if you don't have a Gorilla Bow or you haven't received it yet, um, we can still get it for you, get it, get it a good workout. So let me introduce myself. My name is Marin Ellis. I'm one of the Gorilla Bow trainers, um, certified Gorilla Bow trainers. I've been training for about 15 years. Um, I have trained various kinds of people, NBA athletes and NFL athletes. Um, was a college athlete myself, um, played ball till I got hurt from ACL, and that's when I really found my passion for training and helping people get in shape. So that being said, um, when I came across the Gorilla Bow, honestly, it was a couple of years ago, it was a few years ago, ran across this amazing tool, and I, I love working out outside, I love working out at home, even though I still will go to the gym, I really wanted to try something that was mobile. And I tell you, when I found the Gorilla Bow, what's up, Kristen, Plano, Texas, how you doing? Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, what's going on, Megan? That sounds like an amazing place to be right now. Um, but as soon as I started the process of training and learning more about resistance bands, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with it even before the gyms shut down and we couldn't get there. Um, so that was one of the big things I liked about the bow, but I loved the way it felt. I, I mean, honestly, I loved how it felt in hand. I loved the fact that it still felt like I was moving weight because of the, the way it's constructed. And I'm telling you, I've had a chance to train some of my NBA players that I've worked out with, with the Gorilla Bow, and they loved it. We were able to go out and work out anywhere, and as long as I bring this, and get creative with some other things, they love it. So I know you're gonna love it too. We're gonna work out every Monday, this time 6 p.m. Um, Central Time, and then on Wednesday mornings, we're gonna do another workout live, and that will be at 8 a.m. Central Time. So either way, you're gonna start seeing me two days a week, we're gonna have some fun, we're gonna get in shape. Um, and then if you have your Gorilla Bow, let me know what questions you have on how to use it. If you or trying to figure out some exercises or specific exercises that you want uh, to do it or body parts you want to train or movements you want to do, uh, let me know. I can definitely either make a video, put it up on my channel. Uh, my company is called Divine Designers. So if you ever want to go check it out, feel free to go to the website, check out Divine Design Fitness, D-I-V-I-N-E. Um, partner with the Gorilla Bow guys. They're an amazing group of guys. Um, came up with an amazing product. And you can also follow me on YouTube, um, Divine Design Fitness, or Instagram at divine.design.fitness.com. And we're going to put content out there, help you stay motivated and all this craziness going on in the world. But we're going to stay positive. We're going to have fun here. 
Let me, we're going to go ahead and get going here. What's up, Chris in Nashville? How you doing today, brother? How you doing? And then, I, what was that? I just finished my Gorilla Bowl workout. What's up, Jan? Hey, what kind of workout did you do? I hope it was a great one. I know it was because you're excited about it and you're here. So, that being said, today's workout is going to be a leg workout. Um, so, we're going to focus on lower body today. So, if you haven't done legs today, it's time to go. If you did do legs, it's still time to go. All right. So, we're going to start with our dynamic warm-up. And then we're going to do high knees, jumping jacks, silk claps, and hamstring uh, reaches. And then we'll do our workout. It's going to be a superset. We're going to go two sets of 10 of each exercise. And we're going to go through each exercise back to back. And then we'll go through it the second time. And then I'm going to let you do your core. Whatever type of core workout you want to do, you can do on your own. You can do crunches. You can do planks. That's up to you. We have 20 minutes. We're going to burn some calories, get in shape in 20 minutes. So we got squats. And we're going to go right into squat jumps. We're going to do split leg squats right into the lunge jumps. Then we're going to do deadlifts into bridges and for core. The exercise is going to be a strength followed directly by a plyometric move. And then I'll show you questions in case you can't or don't want to do the jumping exercises or don't have the space. Um, I'll show you some modifications. So, and then also when I demonstrate, I'm going to demonstrate with the gorilla bow first, followed by demonstrating how you can do it without the gorilla bow. And then we'll go ahead and knock out the reps. All right, let's get going. Make sure you got some water. I got mine. It's time to have fun. Let me get a quick sip. So we're gonna do high knees. Thirty seconds. Ready. Set. Go. Just running place. We're going high. We're just getting high knees. We're gonna keep it moving. Make sure you move those arms. Don't sit there and just. Have Arms off to the side. You gotta keep those arms moving. You gotta get the heart rate up. And keep moving. Again, tell me where you're from. At least when we're on a break. If I give you a break. No, I'm playing. <laughs> so, the cool thing about these workouts, you can burn a lot of calories in 20 minutes. Doesn't take an hour long. 20, 30 minutes. With this tool, with the gorilla ball, you're good. All right. Keep it up, keep it up. Jumping jacks, ready. We're gonna do 20 jumping jacks, standard jumping jacks. If you have any knee issues or anything, you can do the side step jumping jacks. But if you're good, we're gonna do the standard jumping jacks. Three, two, one, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Now, part of getting in shape is moving in different movement patterns. So, same as the jumping jack, we're going to do seal claps. Hands out. And then you're going to spread them out to the side, back in. My legs are doing the same thing. Start with your legs wide. Feet wide, and then we're going to top in and come back out. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Keep them hot. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, y'all. Good job. Good job. Okay, hamstring reaches. Now, if we're on YouTube, I apologize, I'm gonna try to back up so you can see the whole exercise. What's up, Facebook? We got you. So what I want you to do, reach down, grab your toes, grab them to your toes, and then we're just gonna do a squat, come up, reach up to the sky. I'm gonna do 10 reps. And I'll go to the side so you can see it. Reach down, touch your toes, Squat down, stand up, still touching your toes, reach for the sky. That's two. We got eight more. Ready, set, go. Squat down, come up, reach up. Three, four. You feel it in your hamstrings. Five, 
six. Seven, make sure you keep your weight in your heels. Lean going down. Eight. Nine. And 10. Great job, y'all. Great job. All right, last but not least, arm circles. Gonna get those arms up, get those shoulders moving. Even though we're working legs, you definitely want your shoulders and stuff to be nice and loose. Again, let me know where you're from. Tell me where you're from. Keep those arm circles going. Backwards. If you have the gorilla bow, let me know how long have you had it. Alright. Awesome job, y'all. Let me know how long you've had it. San Diego, what's up, Janet? From San Diego. I used to live in Mission Valley. Now I'm in Dallas, Texas. But grew up right in San Diego. Alright, y'all. So we're gonna go to squats to squat jumps. With the gorilla bow, it's gonna be easy to understand. We're just gonna do jump right into squats. Make sure you have the bands right underneath the middle of your feet. Not under your toes, not under your heels, right under the feet. And then make sure they're equal distance apart. Now the cool thing about bands, the further your feet are apart, the more resistance you're gonna get in exercise, okay? Now, we're gonna do front squats today. So there's two ways you can do the front squat. You can bring the band or the bar up right across your shoulders like this, or you can bring it across your shoulders and hold it like an X pattern. Either way, do what's comfortable for you. Now, if you don't have the bow, you can grab a bell, any kind of weight, grab one of those Arrowhead water bottles. You'll see that later. But we're just going to do a regular squat if you don't have the grill. And then as soon as we're done, 10 reps, we're going to go in the squat jumps, 10 reps. All right, y'all, get your grill bow ready. It's time to burn some calories, y'all. It's time to have some fun. Stay strong. All right, we got 10 reps. Ready, set, go. One, we'll keep your weight in your heels. Two, push your butt back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, be safe. Drop the gorilla ball, put it off to the side. Now we got ten squat jumps. Ready. Set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. All right, split leg squats. Now, in these split leg squats, one foot, one foot is going to be on your grill. Now, stand with that foot in front. We're still going to do that front squat angle. Make sure your back leg is a decent distance back. But when we go, we're going to drop that back leg down, come up. Okay? We'll do 10, and then switch to the other side. And then when we're done, we're going to put it down and do split leg squat jumps. Be here. Just like that. All right. There's some people outside not paying attention to social distance. That's all right. Because we are. We are. That's why you got the grill. Stay in shape at home. All right. Foot right in the middle. Arms up. Okay, remember, you can do it here or do it right here. Set. Go. One, 
two, three, keep your balance, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just switch your feet. Other side. Set. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, almost off my balance. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, y'all. Ready? Set. One. Three. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, y'all. Catch your breath. Get some water. Good job. Who we got on here? Chris, you had yours for seven months. Great job. Yannick, you've had yours for a year. Awesome work. Awesome work. All right, so now we got deadlifts. Deadlifts is one of the best exercises you can do. And it's cool because the way your elbow is made, it allows you to really put some weight on there, really get that feel for a deadlift, like you're in a gym. I'm out of breath, y'all. Those little scissor jumps, they're real. Hold on one second, let me turn the AC on. All right. So again, we're gonna step wide. The wider you go, the more resistance you're gonna get. How we're gonna do is push our hips back, Go straight down, keep the bow close to your legs, stand up, squeeze those glutes on the way to the top. Don't stay up here and don't arch your back. We're just going straight down, straight up, 10 times. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, keep it up, nine, ten, good job. All right, now heavy weight. Don't go to sleep, stay awake. Right close to your butt. Right now, your butt could be on the ground, but I don't want you to leave it there. We're going to do 20 reps. Now what we're going to do, in your hips, squeezing the glutes, back down. Now, but for now, we're going to focus on both feet on the ground since this is the first workout. All right, ready? 20 reps. Set, go. One, two, three, four. Squeeze those glutes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Keep that core engaged. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good job, y'all. And the other key trick, we'll do it for the next round. Make sure you drive through your heels. You don't want your toes on the ground where all the force is. You want your weight to drive through the heels. All right? So that's round one. We got one round to go. Who we got on here? What's up, Michael? Chicago. Hey, if you ever come to Dallas, please bring me some Garrett's popcorn. That stuff is amazing. That cheddar and caramel. I shouldn't be saying this on the fitness channel. 
But that's why I work out, so I can eat what I want. What's up, YouTube? I forgot about you. YouTube Live. We're working out to stay alive. All right, Facebook, we're going back. We got squats again. This time, I'm going to demonstrate each exercise without the gorilla bow for those of you who don't have a gorilla bow. But if you do, you're going to do it the same way we did it the time before. All right, 10 reps. We're going to do 10 squats, and then right into 10 squat jumps. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten squat jumps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me know if you sweat. I don't worry about sweat here. All right, split leg squats. Again, back in my day, I was playing football. I was a receiver. It was my favorite part of the other than catching touchdowns. Getting in stance. So, bring your weight, mostly in your front leg, back leg for stability. You're going to drop down, get your right leg, left leg front, drop your right knee. Set, ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you need two, seven, you can put your hand on something. Eight, nine, ten. Here you go, y'all. Yeah, I'm doing it. Legs. Great thing about this, forces you to work on your balance. Your balance comes from your core. Core ain't just sit -ups. Core is used in everything. Set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I almost fall over every time. Nine, ten. Yeah. Shake it off. This time we have ten. It's between uh, lunge jumps. One, two, three, four. To ten. Ready. Set. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. There we go. Six. Seven. Make sure you stick that landing. Eight. Nine, ten. Y'all, those burning legs, y'all. Those burning legs. All right. Last part. I'm going to do deadlifts and then glute bridges. Sorry, y'all. I'll keep looking over here, see what they're talking about. One thing for your mental health don't watch too much news right now. Nothing but bad news. So, again, feet wide apart. Again, the wider you go, the more resistance you got. If it's still too light, go ahead and get the other band. 10 reps. Remember, straight down, keep the griddle ball by your knees, come up nice and tall. Now, if you don't have the girl above, well, I want you to do what we did in the warm up. Hands on your toes and then stand up. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Last exercise. Lay in your back. Don't fall asleep. 
You got glute bridges. This time, we'll do 20. Knock it out. For you ladies who want to develop their glutes, great exercise. Not only develop your hamstrings and your glutes, but will also protect your lower back. Remember, belly button the spine, ties up that core. We're going to drive our hips in the air. Set. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. All right, y'all. Y'all did it. Y'all did it. Quick, 15, 20 minute leg workout with the Gorilla Bow. There's so much more that can be done with the Gorilla Bow. You have no idea, but we have 20 minutes on Mondays and Wednesdays to get you in shape in your own home. You can take it to the park, to the garage, throw it in your car when you travel. Doesn't matter. That gorilla can go anywhere. If you, there's no reason to not get in shape. All right, y'all, great job. Now, as you cool down, I want you to do your, um, I want to make sure you do your, what do you call it? Your core work. Don't forget your core work. Even, you can do planks, you can do, what else might you want to do? You can do crunches, side planks, you can do rainbows. If you want more information, make sure you visit gorillabo.com. I have some videos on there, go with some other trainers. You could also visit YouTube, have some exercise. Even when this is all over, I'm telling you, you're not gonna wanna give up the gorillabo when this is over. All right, any questions? All right, no problem, Megan. No problem, Michael. Hey, that upper body workout, make sure you tune in on Wednesday. The upper body workout is gonna be a beast. All right, so again, make sure you visit uh, Grill. You're gonna need it, you're gonna keep it, and you're gonna use it. All right? And then if you want to follow me, Miranda Ellis, you can find me at divinedesignfitness.com, D-I-V-I-N-E, designfitness.com. And you can also reach me on Instagram at divine.design.fitness, or you can reach me um, on Facebook at Divine Design Fitness, or you can build your body, fortify your faith. And you can also reach me on uh, Twitter at Divine Design Fit. Either way, y'all get at me because I will help you work out. I appreciate y'all. Invite friends next time. Six feet apart, but invite your friends. Maybe not to the house, but share this video with them because we got something for you. Last time, any thanks, Chris. You rock, brother. You rock too, man. I rock because you rock. I rock because you rock. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. If not, we got about two minutes to ask any questions you can want, and then we're gonna log off. But then, let them know. Even if you forget, let me know. Let me go ahead and type in the website real quick. I'll type in my website. Sorry, YouTube, I'm putting it in on Facebook right now. DivideDesignFitness.com. That's my site. Hit me up, reach out to me there. And uh, if you do have the ability, you got one of these Apple Watches or any kind of fitness tracker, make sure you use it. I want to see how many calories we can burn in 20 minutes. We're gonna keep this thing going. We're gonna make it challenging. When this is over, y'all gonna go back to work looking better than you did when you left. All right? All right, we got one more minute. Any questions? I'm here for you. Definitely here for you. All right. I'm here. Yo, we just got 
put in a shelter in place order in Dallas, Texas. So we really can't go nowhere. We can go to the grocery store. We can go outside and work out. Take your girl to go outside. Find a park where nobody's at. And get in a great workout. Put in your AirPods, your AirPods, your headphones. Get some tune that inspires you. 20, 30 minutes. That's all you need. Because now y'all, y'all be safe. Six feet apart, personal distance. If they get too close to you, do that high man, do that stiff arm. And we're gonna keep things rocking. Let's see, okay, Chris, how long on planks? Honestly, I like to go as long as you possibly can. As long as you possibly can on the planks. There's no reason to go 30 seconds if you can knock out a minute. If you can do five minutes, there's no reason to stop at a minute. Alright? And at divine.design.fitness. Make sure you follow Gorilla Bow and me because we're going to keep this thing rocking, y'all. Again, the planks. Now, let's say those 10 reps that we did in the workout were too easy. And let me just show y'all this so y'all get this. YouTube, y'all couldn't see it. It was off the side. You're probably wondering what I was looking at. That's the workout for the legs. Warm up, high knees, jumping, hamstring reaches. Right there, and arm circles. We did. We added those later. Workout: ten sets of squats, right into jumping jacks. Split leg squats, right into lunge jumps. Deadlifts, right into bridges, and knock out what you want for core. Two sets of ten reps, thirty seconds reps. If you want to push it further, knock out twenty reps. Knock out thirty reps. You guys are at different places. We wrote this so anybody can do it. Push yourself. In the end of 20 minutes, you should be feeling it. So, all right, y'all. I will see you on Wednesday. Appreciate you. Stay safe. Talk to you soon. Peace.